the world is home to 7 billion people, all trading, connecting and impacting on each other's lives. Never has trade been more globalised and interwoven into the fabric of everyday life. Yet still, one billion people go to bed hungry, and half the world's population lives on less than a pound a day. Not everyone in the world is benefiting from world trade. By trading fairly, we can start to change this. So why shouldn't the child of a coca farmer go to school? Why must the gold miner risk his or her life and see none of the rewards? And why can't the garment worker plan for the future? Trade can and should be fair. In this interconnected world, what we buy in Wales can have a positive impact on people thousands of miles away. By buying products with these logos, you know that the producer will receive a fair and minimum price, work as a cooperative in which women's voices are heard, have respect for human rights and safe standards of working, for example, no forced child labour, receive a social premium for community development such as education and healthcare, respect environmental standards. You will find this mark on more than 4,500 products in the UK. And you will see this logo on things like crafts and clothing, and it's supported by the 10 principles of fair trade. Simple, isn't it? The people of Wales certainly think so. In 2008, after years of campaigning, Wales became the world's first fair trade nation. It marked a commitment from national government right down to the local communities to support the principles of fair trade. From schools to faith groups, and from businesses to local councils, Wales took an important step towards making the world a fairer place. It began with... Ammonford, which became Wales' first fair trade town in 2002. Then Wrexham became the first fair trade county in the world in 2003. Cardiff followed up in 2004 as the first fair trade capital city in the world. And in 2007, Monmouth Comprehensive became our first fair trade school in Wales. Today, more than a thousand schools, nearly half our towns, 82% of local authorities, 100% of our cities, thousands of faith groups, and all of our universities use, buy, and support fair trade. Following fair trade nation status, Fair Trade Wales was set up to help support and grow this incredible movement. I'm very proud of the fact we're a fair trade nation, not only because it makes me feel good about myself and about Wales, but also I think it's an active encouragement to other nations. Here in the National Assembly, in the staff and members canteen, we have a range of items that are marked and badged as fair trade. But we also know that across local authorities, they've made great strides, but there's still more that we can do in public and in private procurement to actually place a greater value on that fair trade produce. I feel proud that we're helping other people that don't, uh, that aren't as fortunate as us and I just feel proud. I still think we can always be not just proud of what we've done but optimistic there's even more we can do in the future. I'd like to congratulate campaigners across Wales as we celebrate five years as a fair trade nation. I'd like to thank each and every one of you that has contributed to this achievement. It's important that every child in Wales gets the opportunity to learn about fair trade and global issues and the Welsh Government is committed to ensuring that this happens. I'm delighted that this transformative concept is spreading throughout the world with Scotland declaring fair trade nation status this year. Thanks to the leadership shown by the people of our small nations, we can look forward confidently to being joined by other fair trade nations in the future. My name is Sandra Joseph. I'm from St. Lucia. I'm a fair trade banana producer on a fair trade fortnight visit. And I've visited so many different schools. So far, I find that children are advanced about fair trade. It gives people from other countries a fair amount of money for what they're doing. And we get to live happily with and comfortably, but then other people are struggling to live. 
Fair trade is a really important part of our school. It fits into our ethos and values and is a key part of education for sustainable development and global citizenship work. My plan to wear in high, I'm going to throw on a gully covering or skill at weather, true mass nach dig, seen help you plant either ski and a bead or compass. Before fair trade, parents used to take their children out from school and take them to the farm. But presently, as fair trade, we are able to pay people to work on and allow the children to go to school. We've been a fair trade town now for 10 years and what we're doing tonight is uh, we've got the annual fair trade banana split to celebrate what we've been doing in the town really. <laughs> Particularly special now because we've got a fair trade banana producer here for the first time as well and it's just been brilliant for everyone to meet her and make those direct links with her as well and see all the campaigning that we do what a difference it can make to one individual and one family and one community. Quite a while ago I applied to the Fair Trade Wales for funding to put on some multicultural cookery sessions using Fair Trade products as much as possible. And we got the funding, you know, it was great. We were so happy about that. So this is the culmination. We're having one of the cookery sessions here in Fairtrade Fortnight to draw attention to the Fairtrade movement. I come from Uganda. I grow Arabica coffee. I would like the whole world to embrace fair trade because fair trade is about fairness. There is a lot of injustice in this world, injustice in trade. The fair trade nation means that the people in that nation are embracing the collective values of fair trade and the best practice values which promote peace, unity and the development. Clumblade Masnach De Conwy, where he put in Guithio Geta in the Bermithwyr Cymru. He drew Dweud Oth Bobol, but he said Prynu Pethau Lleol a Prynu Masnach De Ega. He put in the two beth yn mynd llaw yn llaw. He put in llawer o'r sefyllfoedd sy'n wynebu ffermwyr yma a dramor yr un math o beth. He put in the two beth yn mynd llaw yn y ddaili, a wedyn pwrpas heddiw wedi tynnu sylw at y neges yna a trio cael mwy o gysylltiadau rhwng ffermwyr masnachdeg a ffermwyr Cymru. Today we're right in the heart of the Welsh Government and Welsh Government offices in Tays Park. We're celebrating Fair Trade Fortnight. We're also celebrating our fifth anniversary as a Fair Trade Nation. We've got uh, Fair Trade samples on the go. People are coming and trying it, tasting it. So it's a really nice opportunity to come and to celebrate all the work that's going on in Wales. Thank the Welsh Government and also encourage them to continue that commitment. Cooperative in Wales, uh, both as an organisation uh, and indeed myself personally, have been really privileged and honoured to be a part of the campaign for Wales being a fair trade nation. We were delighted uh, when that happened in the year 2008 and we're really pleased to be celebrating the fifth anniversary of that now here in Wales. Uh, and I think what we'd like to emphasise is that this process is a journey. It's not a campaign with an end. It's something that has to continue, something that has to grow. And for our part, we'll do as much as we possibly can to help make it grow. Lots of our members stock fair trade products and its popularity hasn't been undermined by economic challenges over the last five years. Strong brand awareness and support from customers is the driving factor behind its continued success. I got involved with fair trade because I believe in trade justice. I took this further by setting up my own shop, selling fair trade products, and we are soon to be formally recognised as a social enterprise. 
I'm proud that 15 years on, we're still going strong despite economic challenges, continuing to narrow the gap between the producer and the consumer. I'd encourage everyone to do all they can to support their local fair trade shop. Churches and faith institutions have been an important part of the journey from the very beginning. Fair trade is an excellent way of putting the gospel into action and a great way of showing solidarity with our brothers and sisters of all faiths throughout the world. The Church in Wales continues to support this vital way of ensuring justice and fairness in the world and this is demonstrated by our commitment to becoming a fair trade province in the coming years. 2013 marks five years as a fair trade nation. It's been a remarkable journey and we can all be incredibly proud of what's been achieved. But we're only at the start, and with your help, there's no limit to where it can take us. Fair trade has empowered millions of farmers and workers across the world to work their way out of poverty. Millions more are waiting. It's over to you.